Night, you, you let me down. You got you got let me know. You're not kidding. <laughs> I'm picking with you. But um yeah, last night I was trying to figure out why this guy wouldn't why it wouldn't run the um opening cutscene. And it was because I don't I don't know what it was, but it wasn't following it. So um last night I was tweaking stuff and I left desktop audio off because it kept repeating that intro song. And while I love it, hearing that intro song on repeat like 20 times is kind of, kind of, um, grating on the soul. It's, it's, it's tough on you. Okay. So music should play now. Y no, no, no. You know what they say, the more the merrier. Yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. So now here's the music. The music should be playing now. Yeah. You guys, are you guys hearing the music now? It should be. Music should be playing. Let me know if you hear the music now. Music should be playing. Great! Is it still playing? Yeah! Race the win! That's what Cut said, dude. Cut said, hit the button. All right. Yeah! Yeah. Oh, you do that. Sick it! Oh, God, son. Don't kill yourself already. Nobody. There you go. <laughs> I wonder what that sound was. Somebody shooting at me. Yeah, it was been playing sound this entire time. I feel bad you guys can hear it. Great! Like I said, again, for a fan game, this is actually pretty good. I said, um... I, I, I would enjoy to see what they can do if they when they iron out the, uh, the few kinks it does have. Mostly just Sonic being real floaty. If they get that... On in. This is actually really good. And it shows you that, you know, yeah, Sega makes decent games, but they haven't really made a good Sonic game in a while. Race to win! I mean, most Sonic games are fine, but it's like they, I don't know. Like they can do much better. So yeah, Sonic World like this in a real game would be kind of neat. Like it was like just a big open world race across the map. What I would like though is like a, a big open map, like a big open world game where hub worlds were just scattered. Oh god, okay, on the ground. Not really sure where I'm going. I'm just kind of running in one direction. Awesome! I'm just kind of going where the wind takes me. The heck was that? Being chased by a caterpillar. Cool moves. He does. Hang on. I'm gonna try it. So you press the trick button. Race to win. Oh, he does. <laughs> Sick air. He does the box art for Sonic. He does Sonic One's box art. Cool moves! Ah, oh, that's pretty neat. <laughs> Back when Sonic was like, you know, trying to show off the coolness. That was when Sonic, when, you know... Great! When Sonic really changed, because, oh god, what are you doing, buddy? Right at you! I know when I was little, because I think Sonic 3 came out, you know, and then Sonic and Knuckles, and that was pretty much it for a while. And then, all of a sudden, we found out, like, Sonic Adventures, this next big thing, and it was just like... Why does Sonic look so much cooler now? It's like, it's just a big moment for gamers back then. You know, 999, or 9999, when Sonic Adventure came Good times, good times. Great! Oh, I was trying to hit that, I missed it. Yeah. Oh, Sonic, wait, come back. Oh god, I'm gonna drown at aren't I? <laughs> oh, Sonic, don't drown, buddy. 
Oh, lordy lord. That is some air right there. Kit. That's pretty sweet. That was some pretty good air. As long as you go right back into the same spot, you just got out of something. Oh, God. Hang on. I'm trying to get to that rail. I'm trying to back up. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay. Well. God. This game comes at you so fast. I'm playing Overwatch. Just gotta figure out, make sure I'm going the right way. Right. That's the only thing I can really see different. Like iron out the like. I don't know. I kind of, I kind of torn. I like the floatiness a little bit, just from the fact you can jump and fly like 20 miles in the sky. Um, but if we could get it so that uh, kind of knew what direction to go in more, that'd be perfect for this. But otherwise, it's pretty good. Let's see. I want to kind of do this. Shit. Shit. Using the uh, I'm using the uh, spin dash, drop dash, actually. And that's what it's meant. Drop dash is meant for. It's meant to go fast. Yeah. buddy. Yeah. Let's see where we go now. That's the only thing. I kind of want to know where exactly to go. I'm kind of. Oh, dang, where'd they come from? All right. Okay, I'm assuming we're going in the right direction. I'm assuming. Oh, it's a dinosaur from Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Oh, wow, I had not seen those guys in years. God dang, they're huge. You can't hurt them either. Oh my God, they're huge. I haven't seen these guys in years. Oh no, Sonic, get out the lava. Sorry, sorry, I was trying to, I was memorized by the dinosaurs and I threw it still too long. Shit. Yeah, dinosaurs are always really cool in uh, Sonic 2. I never imagined them that big, though. That's pretty, that's pretty neat. That makes me, uh, that makes me dizzy. They weren't that big when I was little, but still, it's kind of reimagining things you saw when you were little. It's like, well, dang, that thing is huge now. Alright, we got a lightning shield, so we should, yeah, get everything. Like I said, you can go so fast in this game, it's crazy. I'm literally just running. This is like a Sonic game, I guess. Oh, sh oh God. Yeah, that was on me. We need to... Come here, Sonic. Well, I didn't get as high as one. Oh god, a little bug. But it's like, um. Ah, oh, those little bugs are creepy. They're not creepy, they're just annoying. Ooh, Sonic, buddy. Ooh, buddy. Give me a heart attack. I'm so confused now. I'm gonna say this is a pretty good fan game. The only thing I want to change, like I said, on um, the, the floatiness is not that bad. It's oh god, it's it's just it's not knowing where I'm going. Honestly, that's the only bad thing. But I'm literally just kind of running around, and I just happen to find the exit. Like I said this game doesn't really give you any. Crap. Any real clues to where you're going? Very floaty. Very floaty. 
a four. <laughs> we get this next one. And we Wait. That's what I'm saying. Real Sonic Team makes. I mean, yeah, sorry, and I hate that. Like Real Sonic Team. I guess you could. I guess I have to say I'm thankful that they still make Sonic games, but they're not good. Like they just uh, real push them out basically. And again, I keep telling fans the reason they do it is because we buy it and they assume that that means that whatever they do is good. You know, mm -hmm. Sonic Forces could have been really good, but it was rushed, you know, and they basically just copy and paste the avatars. Really Here we go. As infantile as ever, I see. As infantile as ever, I see. I'll show you how infantile I can be. Uh, I think you just did. Quit your incessant blathering. You wanted my intel, so you'd better shut up and listen. <laughs> oh, I like this writing. <laughs> what you are looking for is located towards the far side of Sunset Boulevard. After infiltrating Eggman's private network, I've located the jammer disrupting table. Oh, yeah, he's, he's the edgiest boy. It's like the edge of this table right here. You know, you just fall off of it. You're sure it's there? You underestimate my prowess, Sonic. The doctor has been stealing secrets from my client. And that um, don't the one thing holding that also future advice don't put blue text on the blue background it kind of doesn't I have a score to settle with kind of doesn't blend in very well I know you're trying to point out Sonic but it kind of doesn't go good I guess we'll have to do your job for you then <laughs> I could destroy that trash can by myself I have no need for you if anything you need me he's got a point there oh yeah raise fair enough all right, let's go destroy that thing. Sounds like a fan fiction I've heard on um, fanfiction.net a few years ago. I don't want to use the word cringe, but that yeah, that cutscene was kind of kind of out there. But again, very fun fan game. But good lord, the story. Was that Tom Nook in a car? Probably not. I don't think Tom Nook would be in this game. Oh my god. Okay. Cool moves. Sweet. Race to win. <laughs> you can post yeah post all the pictures of, of um vanilla as you can cream's mom is something she's she's a different beast altogether you know that is, she like she's one cute bunny i've seen a lot of weird doom guy pictures too lately like of doom guy and isabella from animal crossing you know, they make a cute couple. Oh god. Is there a boss? What is this? Monkey, go to what the hell? A boss? A little What the heck is that? Where are you, buddy? Well, not just lately. I guess I just I come across it more often now. Oh dang, okay. How do I hurt you? Okay, this is one boss. Uh... Oh, there we go. He eventually lands. Oh, dang. Okay. That's something new. Oh crap. Yeah, I, I see a lot of safer work posts. No cricket boats here, yes. I've seen I've seen, you know, safer work pictures of Doom Guy, and I've seen not safer work pictures of Doom Guy. And those scary Oh dang! Oh god, he's gonna kill me. And those are the scariest usually. Okay, he flies no matter what. Dang. What the heck, dude? Cool moves. 
Race to win. Holy crap. What kind of boss is this? You got half the stage electrified. What the fuck? Okay. What the heck? This is... That was something. I never seen a boss literally have a gust of wind that just shot me across the map. That's <laughs> that's crazy. Um, but yeah, like I said, just knowing directions would, would have helped a lot. Like in the pyramid stage, you know, I got lost, and confused because I didn't know where to go because both sides looked the exact same to me. I was like, where am I supposed to be going right now? Um. So I didn't know where to go and um, the kind of the floatiness I like I said I really like that I like being able to spin dash and literally just shoot across in the air but it had no weight to it like I'm literally flying everywhere and this home dash wouldn't lock on to stuff all the time like sometimes there'd be enemies and I couldn't lock on to them so I like, hit this one and I just go flying um Rinku on um, the game was a fan game that this is a game that cut recommended last week this is sonic gt um because they this was shown off at sage this year and cut told me to play it they said it's pretty good and it, it's pretty good like i said they could fire out like i said kind of give weight to the floatiness fix the home dash and just kind of give us directions where to go this would be a fun this would be a really good fan game i mean like a like a i could see a full game of this you know just fix those things, it'd be perfect. Um, but you know, yeah, fix those things, be perfect. Like I said, definite seven out of ten uh, for a fan game. Um, it was neat, you know. It kind of had, it kind of shows you also what Sonic fans are capable of compared to what Sega is. Um, the Sega, you know, makes decent games, but they're... <sighs> yeah, Sonic GT. See, the thing with Sega, I'm waiting for a game that is praised everywhere. Because you know, like on TV, when you see commercials where you'll be watching like TV at night and a commercial for like Devil May Cry, Mario Odyssey will come on TV and say, look at these review scores. It's like 5 out of 10. I mean, not 5 out of 10. 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, you know, A+. Plus um all that stuff that'd be awesome i haven't seen the sonic game do that forever mania but again i want to see a good 3d sonic game not just going back to 2d because that's the only safe spot uh secrets i think it was just extra characters you know um like you can play as mighty you know and shadow and stuff um i'm surprised that shadow has Okay, his acceleration. I was going to say they took his speed because Sonic and Shadow are about the same speed, honestly. Shadow has a little more acceleration. Sonic has more slope influence. Sonic has more slope and rolling influence. Shadow has greater jump. Um, so you got Sonic, you got Mighty. Um, how the hell is Mighty? Fast, like acceleration that high it shouldn't be in ray um i think the radar was just talking about like parts from middle sonic and stuff i think middle sonic's a character in here um i think that's the only thing i think My ultimate power. i literally think it's just you know it's the same stage and stuff it's i think you're just looking for parts and stuff um <laughs> I literally think that's it. I don't think it's like a. Yeah, it's just secrets. Like I said, I think it's literally just trying to find parts for Metal Sonic and stuff. I don't think it's anything just. I don't think it's anything groundbreaking. Like I said, not knowing what direction you're going in, that's the only, that's the biggest complaint I have with this. Like, the floatiness for a fan game is fine, but not knowing where to go, it's really kind of bothersome. I mean, it's fun just to run around, don't get me wrong, but it's like, I wanna know where to go. Like, otherwise I'm literally just kinda 
Yeah, so it's, it's literally these exact same stages. It's just um, you're playing the shadow and you're looking for secrets on the map. I have no idea where they would even begin to be. Wait. Okay, so that's how the radar works right there. So it must be up here, yeah. We'll find at least one secret, see what it looks like. If he can get up there. Okay, so it's not that direction. No. This direction? Dang it! Okay, it's gonna be to my right, it looks like. Okay. Um. Okay. It was beeping heavy. Wait. Okay, it must be. It's not giving me. When I see this, I'm thinking about knuckles and digging. I, I don't know what to do here because it doesn't really give you any indication of what to do. It's just like blink, blink. But I can't dig, so what do you want me to do? I can't, I can't do anything here. What, what am I supposed to do? You know, it's like, there's not a hole in the wall. So, let me look through the map actually. I think I can do that. Yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing there. So, Yeah, I don't see anything. Okay, yeah, there's nothing. Yeah, okay. So that's that. Um, so that was Sonic GT. Interesting.